We had a Seth Rollins interview where he basically, without saying so, let us all know that he was going to run in the main event. Which, in fact, he did. It was Roman Reigns versus Edge for the Universal title. And I thought it was a very good match. I thought they went probably 10 minutes too long. They could have taken 10 minutes out of the beginning of the match because there was a lot, a lot, a lot of stalling early. And finally they got going. And Roman got... Uh, heat on him forever. Edge makes a big comeback uh, after hitting the double big boot spot. Hits the Edgematic, Flapjack, Impaler, DDT. And finally goes for the spear, but Reigns catches him in the guillotine. And Edge ends up uh, sending both of them outside and then sending him through the barricade. Uh, first, Roman tried to well, spear first, Roman, and Roman, went Roman, through the barricade, and then Roman's, Edge speared yeah. him through the barricade. Right, right. They went through the barricade twice. So finally, uh, Edge ends up in the ring, and uh, he tries a DDT. Rain slips out, hits a Superman punch, and Edge falls and chop blocks poor Charles Robinson. And we never see him again. He falls outside. They bring out the medical crew. Reigns goes to get a chair, breaks off a piece, He's going to put Edge in the crossface, but Edge reverses it, puts Reigns in the crossface, but of course there's no referee. They send the Usos down to the ring, but Ray and Dominic run down. They beat them up, obviously to keep the fans thinking that that's it. There's going to be no interference. But of course, out comes Seth Rollins. And first, he super kicks Edge, and uh, um, Edge ends up spearing him, and Rollins vanished here for a while. But the point is, Rollins interferes once, new referee shows up, Rollins then jumps back up on the apron, Edge goes after him, and Rain spears Edge for the win. I was like, 33 minutes, and you did the same distraction finish that you do in every single solitary match. Well, that's what, the the finish was the finish they were going to do. I mean, like, we pretty much pegged it before, it's like, Seth Rollins is going to interfere, to set up Edge and Seth Rollins at SummerSlam, and then Reigns goes to wrestle. I think the thing was that I just watched that Rhea Ripley-Charlotte match where, I mean, they kicked out of every move under the sun. And I watched a 33-minute match, and Edge is distracted by Rollins, eats one spear, and it's over. I was like, this is a very anticlimactic finish for this match. It was, but it was what the one they were going to do. I, I thought, you know, I, you know, a lot of the times heel finishes are kind of flat because they're heel finishes, and... It's like that outraged heat. Well, the Charlotte finish was a heel finish. They still kicked out of a million moves. They gave Rhea a lot before they beat her. I mean, it was a heel. Okay, that was a heel one, but they're sort of both. It's kind of a weird situation. But the Charlotte finish was a clean finish, though. It was a heel winning a clean finish, whereas like the Usos finish was you know kind of like a garbage finish the roman reigns finish was a outside interference finish like that those those are the finishes that the idea is they get heat except they don't get heat people just go quiet and it's just like uh you know because it's again it's a it's a different fan base it's a you know it's it's not a fan base it's a fan base that wants to be entertained as opposed to a fan base that wants to see the heels get their ass kicked so when you do that and you're, you're supposed to get, oh, you want to be so mad and see the heels get their ass. You yeah, know, you really don't feel that. You just feel like they gave us a bad finish. So um, it's kind of like, um, you know, wrestling having to catch up to the fans. Like they're kind of still booking for like the 70s fans or the 80s fans. And we're in 2022. So we get these or 2021. And we get these kind of flat finishes. But the idea is, is it's supposed to be super heat, but it doesn't have to get super heat. So that's the reason. So you're supposed to be really, really mad that Seth Rollins screwed Edge out of his 10-year dream. You know, that's the story, and you want to see Edge kick his ass. But the reality is is that you come out of it going like, I watched a 33-minute match that was really good, but, man, another distraction finish. You know what I mean? In the main event. So it's just a question of... um you know, like with the Charlotte Flair, you don't get mad at it because it's a clean finish. You know, it's like you may get mad that Charlotte Flair won and you wanted Rhea Ripley to win, but you can't go in there and just go, ah, oh, what a sucky bullshit finish because it was a clean finish. So Reigns gets the mic afterwards. He says the whole world can acknowledge him now. And John Cena's music hit and the place goes crazy. He hits the ring. They're just going absolutely crazy for this guy. And, uh, 
Roman's just standing there, and John Cena gets in his face and does the you can't see me, and show goes off the air. So Roman Reigns and John Cena at SummerSlam, Edge and Seth Rollins, and I guess Goldberg and Lashley are your top matches for this show. Maybe Drew and Jinder, although maybe that's a TV feud. I don't know. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.